100 square meter space which is constantly raining. Um, the idea came about from an idea of uh, exploring uh, people and people's behaviour in different environments. We kind of have done some different work before uh, exploring behaviour, uh, one of which was a piece called Audience, which we did um, a couple of years ago. There's all these little mirrors on the floor, and as people walk in, all the mirrors look at you and follow you. And the exciting part of that is that we created this thing, and um, and the people's reaction and people's behaviour, like when they were looking at it, was fascinating. It was much more than we could ever imagine, um, and, it, and it kind of gave the piece a different kind of life. So with Rain Room, we kind of did the same, but kind of in a, in a, in a bigger scale. We wanted to create a piece purely about how people might behave inside this, and that's what we're kind of doing now. Well, we've got um, a number of sensors so that the, um, the installation is looking uh, at itself permanently and detects the presence of the viewer, like us now. And when it sees that we're, that we're standing here, it switches off the rain above us and follows us around. So you're in this cocoon of dry uh, while around you the, the, um, the rain is switched on again and creates this curtain of, of water around you. works they're usually experiments so we put them out there for people to experience and then we we always get a lot of reactions that we that we don't that we never anticipated in the first place for example we had uh, actually a lot of people actually try to get wet in here like uh, like they they kind of like outsmart outsmart the system so that's something we never thought would happen we thought people would be much more scared to get into it um, uh, or much or like many more would start to run and then obviously you get wet but you know you never know what you get it's like we put these things out and then and then see what people do with it rather than us kind of forcing a certain way of people how they have to behave been interested in the idea of behavior, human behavior, swarm behavior, and their work has evolved from a place of experimentation and it's a constant learning curve. But the role of the controller and the performer and the idea, is it design, is it performance, is it performative architecture, is it architecture, is it art, is it sculpture, none of that really matters because the overall sensation that's created is overwhelming and unforgettable. I mean, the wow factor that we experience in this in, in this rain room is unforgettable. And I mean, this is really redefining um, and creating a whole new medium, which I'm calling performative architecture. an immersive piece because it's yeah. it's so sort of sensory the noise of it and the and the watching people interact with it as well is fantastic I love yeah. the rain it's really clever the oh, lighting the sound it all like yeah. makes it it's, it's really really nice it's really yeah. enjoyed it I don't know it's just bizarre it's like controlling the weather a little bit uh, We were trying to like cheat it and like put our hands out really fast but it still didn't work. We didn't get wet. <laughs> it was fun. <laughs> yeah. It's weird when you like you're like looking out. It's so, like you're in and you're looking out and yeah. It was good. It was fun. <laughs>
You have to walk quite slowly. You have to walk slowly, but if you if you run, you'll get soaked. If you run, you get soaked. But we came out dry. Yeah, we are pretty dry, so it's a bit dry. Oh yeah, my arms are dry. 